Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and welcome back to some more Mad Games Tycoon. You're going to be back in the shitty office of Best Gams for You, where some fantastic work is going on. Got about 64,000 in the bank, which is going to allow us to start creating some new games and other stuff. I feel as though maybe we should consider doing a bit more contract work first, just because there's going to be a bit more here, and some of it is fairly low paid, to be fair, and it's not going to take that long to do, so we might as well grab some of these things out of here, just to get our money boosted for the meantime. Slightly less shit game 5000. The sales figures for this game are getting worse, therefore we're taking this game off the market, and we made a profit of minus 32,000, which strangely enough is actually less profit than I made on the first game, even though the first game was even worse. So I don't know how that works. Whatever, though. We're going to carry on. Hopefully this is going to work out. What is this? Contract work? Oh, right, okay. I thought that was maybe how many employees we had, but apparently that's just how many contracts are available. Fine. Okay, so where are we going to go next? We've done a bit of that contract work. At least we can gather our money back up from this. But what we're going to do is we're going to start developing a new game. So this time, we're not going to call it slightly less shit game, even less shit, or whatever. <laughs> Whatever rubbish name I can think of. Well, first of all, let's select a genre. We're going to go for maybe skill. We could go for let's go for a puzzle game. We haven't done one of those yet. And then we're going to select a topic. There's going to be a puzzle, a fantasy puzzle, a pirate, a sport puzzle, a pets puzzle game. And we're going to call it Sexy Dog. D oh God, Jesus Christ, Dog Sim. Perfect. 2015. <laughs> If you don't want to play a game called Sexy Dog Sim 2050, I'm surprised that isn't already made on Steam and available. Okay, but it's a pets puzzle game, which is going to have the engine for Scarby, and we're going to go for this, so why not? Okay, platform one, we're going to go on personal computer. We don't currently have a second platform that we can develop on. We can buy a dev kit, which will allow us to actually develop on another one of these platforms. But if you have a little look here, they've both got a market share. Now, the Intel Visual has only got a market share of about 5.3%, so realistically, it's not going to be that helpful if we grab that. Admittedly, it doesn't cost that much money. Alternatively, we could go for the Qatari 2600, which has got 43.1%. It's going to cost a lot of money, but it might be worth it. And I feel as though maybe we should buy this because it's only going to help us. Okay, yeah, fine. We're going to buy it and we're going to select the second platform. We could even just go for the single uh, platform because this is getting the dev costs right up there, which is not very helpful at all. So we're going to grab this and actually, what is the PC? It's 51.7%, so actually maybe we should just stick with this. Do I have enough money? Dev costs 33. It raises it by about 20,000. Ah, well, at least we've got the option in the future of using it. Now, in the past, I've chosen to go for things like atmosphere over functions, and I feel like maybe that's a mistake, so we're going to go for functions on max this time. The story as well, I think, doesn't need to be that great with a dog sim game. <laughs> and, of course, we need great graphics, maybe good gameplay. We'll put it in the middle. Game depth and beginner-friendly. We'll go for a bit more beginner-friendly this time, and we'll go for the casual gamer market. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, there we go. That seems good to me. And we're also going to go for gameplay being a bit higher. Sounds is going to stay there. Technology is going to go down. We're going to bring the graphics back up just to par like that. And it's going to be in English. So that seems good to me. So aside from that, we're going to use our sprites, PC speaker sound, and ASCII tech support as always. So let's just go for it. Okay, now I'm hoping this is going to be our one true hit. My god, please. And what is this, racing? Is this until the next person is releasing a game? Is this going to be like a racing game someone's releasing? I have no idea. Or is it, actually, is this the trend in the market? This might just be the trend in the... Yeah, look, it is. Trend. Adventure racing. Plungy Software has released the game Spectral Killer. Fine. Okay, so what else can we actually upgrade here? Now, we've got a few things that we can start doing. We could employ a new person. We could even go for a, a, a new engine, but there aren't actually any available. Go for another dev kit, get the Intel visual. But again, it's only got 5% market share, so why would we do that? Can't really do anything else. Are there any other rooms that would currently be an asset to us? It doesn't really look like it. We could get another development room, but then that seems a bit pointless. I think research would be the thing that I want to get next. Unfortunately, it's going to use up a lot of room. We could probably fit the research room in here. So I suppose we could maybe go for that. We don't even have enough money for that yet, so we're going to have to do a bit of contracting work before we can even think about adding another room to our development studio. But that's okay. There's no rush at all. Unfortunately, just due to the way that I've laid out this office space here, completed game development, it means that we can't really fit much more in here. We can probably put another room here, but just based on the fact that you need to put down doors to actually allow access to these different rooms, it causes a few problems. 
The work on this game has been completed. You can now release your game. If you'd like to continue working on the game, or should we publish? I didn't even see how many bugs it has, but you know what, it's fine. We're just going to publish it. Five bugs. That seems fine. Okay, and we're also going to go for Ego Shooter Simulation. It's not really a simulation game either, is it? They're all pretty much the same. So I feel as though maybe we'll just go for Chemco again, because why the hell not? And we've actually got our personal computer up to three stars now. Overview of how many games of the same genre or same theme at the time are available. So actually we're, we're starting a new trend here, everyone. Our pet puzzle games, they're so popular. Just looks like noughts and crosses, but you know what, don't worry about it. The graphics still look bad, they could really use improvement. The sound is really bad, it makes my ears hurt. The controls are a disaster, the game is unplayable. What allows a game? I normally get this game the worst game of the year. We only got 1% on this, but to be honest, considering that my first game sold a lot more than my second one, even though, even though the second one was better, I don't really know what constitutes to as like, what is a successful game <laughs> in this. I have no idea. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab a few more of these. We'll do an infcoms contract, just to try and get this done quickly. Delivery in three weeks. We should be able to pump this out fairly quickly, considering we've got two developers on it. Okay, we're not going to participate in Mad Games Convention this time, just because we don't have enough money again. Surprise, surprise. I think we're going to put down a research office, because we want to catch these trends if we can. Because obviously if you hit a trend, then your game is going to do a lot better, and it's going to sell more. Sexy Dog Sim 2015, unfortunately, gave us an even worse profit. That is terrible. What is wrong with us? Okay, well, we're going to have to try a bit harder here. Choose things that have a bit more of a trend. Going to do a bit more contract work. Maybe this one, 37,000. That seems good. Seems like a, you know, a bit of a longer one. 11 weeks time to do it. But we're going we're gonna to smash this out. We've got plenty of time. Okay, so now that we can afford our new room, we're going to put down our research studio. Let's do it. And it seems a bit abnormally large to put it down that large. I think we'll, we'll, can we just put it like this? I feel as though maybe this is big enough. I think that's fine. Okay, we're going to do that and we're going to put the door over here like that. Now as you can see, what I was saying before was, unfortunately due to the door placements on this, you can't really put another room here now. You can't really put another room here because it's going to be in front of the garage door. I suppose actually you could, couldn't you? Let's just see if we can just plop down something. Oh, you can. Okay, well it doesn't really matter then. Fine, so we don't need to worry too much. That seems good to me. So now we'll need some furniture for this room. I think, is is there a research one here? Miscellaneous server room, staff room production, desks, head office. I think we just need a normal desk in here. So we're just going to go for one of these desks again, because, you know what, it doesn't even really matter. How do we rotate this again? Is it like shift or something? Mouse wheel. Okay, and we're going to put this over in this corner like this that seems good okay now now that we've done that we need to actually allocate someone to this room so they can start researching things so what can we actually research is your first question probably we can research genres which is going to unlock new genres that we can use one and one of them being jump and run rpg adventure economic simulation things like that they seem quite expensive to do but maybe with our contract work, we can actually start unlocking a few of these things. We've also got research topics, where we can unlock some of the things like Apocalypse. Oh, we can make Fallout 4, considering that's coming out, like, today or tomorrow, whenever this video is published. And we've got Dragons Digging. What is this? Martial Arts, Mercenary, Military, Music, Samurai, Stone Age, okay, Superheroes. There's a lot of stuff. Wizards, oh my god, yes. And just everything that's fantastic that you would want in your game studio. And then aside from that, we can also research staff. What is this? The following skill should have your employees here. Okay, assign, assign staff. We can assign our staff members here. Okay, well, we don't need to do that right now. Maybe I'll get this guy. I don't know really who's best to put on here. We could hire another person and maybe just do contract work to tide us over because they only cost about 3000 per month, so it's not too bad. Is this going to be a mistake? I feel as though we should just get another staff member. Okay, let's get another staff member in here. We want someone who's good at research, so maybe we can do something like programming. I'm not really sure. 27, we want someone who's the most skilled up here. Frank Gaxer, what have you got? You've got Arcade and Joystick Driver. He's got Puzzle and Sprites. Programming, we've got Arcade Joystick Driver is him again. He, he really wants to be hired, this guy. We've got Puzzle and Sprites. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for Programming. Could even go for graphics. Did we go for graphics last time? Sound? Let's go for sound. We'll go for a sound guy. Frank Gaxer. There we go. Perfect. We're going to put him into research. Seems good to me. Now you have several employees. You can build a lounge. There you can place additional objects that staff require. 
Okay then, so let's start researching. Let's research a topic first of all, and I think we've got to go for wizards, because why the hell wouldn't you want a wizard game? Okay, so let's do some more contract work just to tide us over. We're going to go for this one by, what is that, Accolade? Accolade Studio? I have no idea. Well, we're going to go for that. So once we've got wizards, we I mean, arguably we want to really be focusing on what the trend is. We could have gone for a racing game. I kind of regret going for wizards, but at the same time, I, I just really want to make a wizard game. You're a wizard parky and all of that. And of course, actually, having said that, there's the building upgrade as well, isn't there? So we, we can actually go for a large garage to expand our office a little bit. I don't think I'm going to bother doing that until I've completely filled this entire area. I think we can fit in another room in this corner, which is obviously going to be good for us. We'll do some more contract work whilst I'm waiting around. This one's 53,000. That's pretty damn good. So we're going to go for that 15 weeks. We should be able to pump this out fairly quickly. And with all this new money, I think I might even go for a new genre. We could go for... Have we got racing in here? It doesn't look like it. There's only 22 weeks left on that, though. So maybe we should wait until the next uh, trending topic comes out. Is racing actually in here? Where is R? Racing. Sure, we might as well go for this whilst we're here. We're going to need racing again at some point in the future. We can make something like Forza. Like an early Forza. Well, I can't really think of any earlier games that were made than, than that. I suppose like Mario Kart. Is that earlier? I have no idea. Mad Game Awards! Best soundtrack goes to the creators of Wood. Best graphics to the Little Pirate. Studio of the Air, Pungy Software, and Game of the Year, Creators of Wood. Well, that's lovely. Creators of Wood. That sounds like such a thrilling game, doesn't it? <laughs> exactly like something I'd play on this channel, for sure. Okay, let's now start developing a new game. Can we... Actually, has our research finished yet? We need racing on 100%. We might be able to just catch this, although having said that, I think development does take a little while, so maybe we should just wait. New research feature, save game support. Okay, well let's see if we can actually do any of this stuff. You've reached the third year. To make your games known, you should build a marketing department. Marketing is now unlocked. Oh my god. Okay, marketing would be a good one to go for as our third room, wouldn't it? Only 20,000. At least if we put this down, we can actually start hiring people into this position. That seems like a good idea. Can we actually put this down like this? You can't block a doorway. Okay, that is fine. Marketing seems strangely large, so maybe we can actually fit down two of these rooms. Maybe one next to each other if we do something like this. I'm not sure. It seems like a bit of a weird layout, but we're going to go for it. We've, we've blocked the front door. Seems good to me. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this right next to the toilet because marketing definitely needs some toilets in there. Are there any like specialist things with a marketing room? It doesn't look like seating, miscellaneous server room, training room. I think we just need another desk in here, don't we? Okay, so let's now click the mouse wheel so that we can get this the right way round. We're going to put down a desk like that, minus a thousand. Seems okay. As long as you do the contract work initially, you can afford all this stuff. Can't really afford any new people in there, but it seems good. Right, so let's now develop a new game. Actually, what, what, is, can, what can we do with this marketing campaign? Flyers, local magazines. We have to choose a game, though, which is probably going to have to be under development first of all, so we need someone in here permanently. We could move this guy in between these rooms, so we can put him on marketing for when we do create this new game. Depending on what the new topic is, maybe we should hang around a little bit to begin with. Get a bit more money in here, just whilst we're waiting for this time to go down. Well, as soon as we've got a new trending topic, we're going to we're gonna jump on the bandwagon, try and get that down as quickly as we can. Delivery is in four weeks' time, that seems good to me. Now, are we actually levelling up our skills at all here? It looks like we slowly are. Graphics is on 34.2%, programming... Does seem like things are going up. There's a new platform available as well. Let's have a little look at this. Buy licenses, buy dev kits, here we go. So what market share do these have? Hardly anything. Should I have bought the one that I did? Possibly not. Core Tech Vision? Well, it's not got really much of a market share at the moment, so we'll wait around a little while just to see how well that does. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this contract work. We'll go for this one here next, 21,000. We want to make sure we've got loads of money to invest in this new trending game that we've got. Because if we can do that, then everything's going to be fantastic. And we're going to go for multi-platform this time if we can as well is going to make a real difference. Let's go for contract work. We can go for this one. Where's well, this new research genre? Fighting game. Right, okay. There's only four more weeks until we can actually start developing this new trend. We can actually buy a new dev kit again. This is the Qatari 5200. There's a lot of platforms at this early point in the game. So it's hard to know which one to go for. Well, I suppose it's not really. You just go for the one that has the most uh, market share, but it's okay. The only new engines we can get, the Artis, Artesis, Artsis, Let's just buy the engine. Why not? Seems good to me. 
Okay, we've got 80,000 in the bank, which seems like plenty of money for us. We're going to go for a nice marketing. Espionage, right. Okay, so we might need to get this guy in here to research that. So let's research a genre. Is espionage in here? I think it might be under topics. Let's have a little look. E. Where's E in here? Somewhere up at the top. Espionage, there it is. Perfect. 10,000 seems good to me. We could even get another desk in here. Oh, god damn it! why are you going to the toilet? You're not allowed to go to the toilet, you lazy bum. Got 38 weeks to pump this game out. I said, hurry up! What am I paying you for? Oh my god, how many times do you need to go to the toilet, man? He had a very strong curry last night. It isn't going well in his bowels. Okay, well, thankfully, we should hopefully almost be within range. Why did that... What has cost us 30,000? Is that our employees? Possibly. I have no idea. Well, either way, we're almost at the end of the espionage research, so as soon as this is done... Oh my god, stop yawning! Get on with it! Okay, let's develop a game. It's going to be called Lame... Lame Bond... Je god, what is wrong with me? Okay, we're going to go for retail. Topic is going to be espionage, and we're going to go for... An arcade espionage game with an engine, which is going to be this one here, the Artis Artsis. Perfect. And we're going to go for a platform of this one, and also our second platform of this one. 84,000. We're going to be in a bit of debt after this, but I feel as though it's going to be worth it. So we're going to go for atmosphere and functions. I feel as though maybe we should bring this down a little bit. It's going to have a lot of game depth. The story is going to be important, and this is going to be for the core gamer, and the gameplay is going to be slightly higher. Perfect. Okay, good. And then after that, gameplay is going to be high technology. Maybe bring it up a little bit with less good sounds and higher graphics. Yes, I'm feeling good about this. Let's do it! You have a, you've activated too many features. You can increase the size of the game or disable some of the features. ASCII text support. Do we need this? Text-driven graphics system? No, we don't. We don't need that rubbish, do we? Enable disable features. Oh, we do need it to be like that. Okay. So maybe if we get rid of Pika speaker music... Only a few beeps will be heard in the game. I mean, maybe if we go for scrolling. You can render moving backgrounds. That seems good, doesn't it? Represent moving objects such as characters or opponents. We're going to have to lose the joystick driver, unfortunately. But that seems good to me. You don't have enough money? Oh, damn it. Can we go back and change our options previously? I think we need to develop another game here. Hang on. This, this didn't go very well. <laughs> We've only got 50,000. It's, it's getting a bit expensive. Maybe if we just do a bit of contract work really quick, then we'll have enough money to make this as epic as we can. But this seems like a good place to end today's episode. If you're looking forward to seeing Lame Bond being created next time, then please feel free to leave a support in the comment section below. We're making good progress on expanding our development office. It means that we're starting to be able to get on trend, make a bit more money, and hopefully develop games that people love. But thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward awkward goodbye. Awkward.